Welcome to Real Physics. This is a series of short clips about unsolved riddles of physics and today we're talking about spin. So what's spin? At first sight this seems a very natural idea because when Bohr developed his famous model of the atom in the 1910-1920s uh, you, it was sensational because uh, you had this picture of electrons moving the atomic nucleus like planets moving around the Sun. So the idea was very natural that uh, these electrons could have a proper rotation. Okay? And indeed you could at first sight imagine electrons as rotating with an axis of rotation around the nucleus. And in fact Ulmbeck and Gutzmiss in 1925 discovered this and everything seemed okay. But um, there was a big problem because already in 1922 a famous experiment was done by um, Otto Stern and Walter Gerlach and they asked so to speak about the rotation of electrons and what they did is um, setting up a magnetic field say in this direction and asking uh, electrons what's your rotation and of course if we think about in classical terms the expected answer is that such a rotating electron if it exists could be oriented uh, could orient its angular momentum in any direction in space so what you should expect if you ask say for the vertical component that this is a possibility of this and this and this and this and this and this so you should expect a continuum of results but the big surprise was either the electron had spin up or spin down and that's very very strange and in fact it destroys our picture of uh, three-dimensional reality and electrons as rotating objects because it's just plain wrong to uh, say an electron can rotate as a, as a solid body and uh, so this is the big unsolved riddle why did nature at all invent such a strange thing uh, like spin I mean either you want to make object objects rotate or just let them uh, don't let them rotate at all so there would be no spin at all so this is the big riddle and uh, I make a little exception today because usually I don't do explanations just asking the questions here but there is a very interesting thing uh, by the way some people claim that the riddle of spin was so to speak solved by Dirac in 1928 that's not true it was a very interesting calculation or what he proposed but uh, we're not going into the details but this unification of uh, relativity and quantum mechanics which by the way does not exist it doesn't explain the very existence of spin either so but there is one very interesting thing I want to tell you about three-dimensional rotations and uh, think about a three-dimensional object the only thing I have here is a biography of uh, Werner Heisenberg but you may take any book and in fact you can rotate this object in any direction okay so but these directions uh, these rotations in three-dimensional space are not the very simplest thing and uh, if, if I keep this uh, book here I have no rotation I have the natural state the book has no rotation you can call this identity and okay but you could ask what happens if I rotate this object by a full turn that means 360 degree, uh, degrees or 2 pi and um, well what happens is this rotate here and I rotate it here it's very uncomfortable this position and what does it mean um, this is identity I am identity and you have mathematically my arm represent, represents a path in this manifold of three-dimensional rotations which is called SO3 and you cannot contract this path which simply means uh, I would screw up my arm if I did why I am telling you all this 
Um, as I said, uh, the experiment by Stern and Gerlach tells you about the strange doubling of reality, if you ask nature about rotations. And what you observe here, uh, if you consider these rotations, uh, what happens if you continue to rotate, okay? You rotate it by 2 pi and you might suspect that I'm going to hurt myself if I continue the same twist, but it's not like that. I continue the twist and I end up just in the very natural position. And that's very a very peculiar property of rotations in three-dimensional space. One turn and two turn and again I'm in the original position after two turns. And uh, here's the interesting property. Uh, we have a mathematical object that is exactly this, that distinguishes between this, pos this position and that position. Okay, and that's called S3, the three-dimensional unit sphere. And you might say, if you ask math about a strange doubling of something, you, that's just the only possibility, okay? Uh, mathematicians call it a, a double cover of SO3, which is S3, the three-dimensional unit sphere. And uh, I think it's obvious that these two phenomena are linked somehow. We don't know exactly how, but it's a clear hint that three-dimensional reality is not like we usually think, but is maybe very much related to this strange manifold S3, as suspected by uh, one famous mathematician uh, William Rowan Hamilton already in 1843 and uh, well exceptionally as I said I offered a little uh, explanation for the nature of spin today but it's certainly still an unsolved riddle if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like it and if you are interested in this kind of fundamental questions subscribe to this channel